All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary playthrough. We've got another uh, random setup here with another Epic Mastermind. We're going to be going against Epic Exodus. I'm a little scared. <laughs> um, so he's 36 attack. Any number of times you may shatter Exodus by spending two recruit plus one for each immortality stacked here. Um, then Master Strike is stacked. This strike next to Exodus as an immortality. Choose um, either X-Men, X-Force, X-Factor, or Brotherhood hero. Each player KOs one of those heroes or gains a wound to the top of their deck. So remember, shattering will have his attack. So the first time... So at most, we could shatter him once to 18 and another time to 9, which is likely what's going to end up happening. Um, but if we end up with having to do it with the maximum amount of immortality, it's going to cost us 14 recruit to do it, which is a ton. Oh, there's Thunder. <laughs> uh, we have uh, provoked the Sovereign Warfleet. 11 twist, add an extra villain group. This twist enters the city as a two attack sovereign Omnicraft villain worth one victory point. With fight, you get plus one recruit. Each player shuffles all twists from their victory pile back into the villain deck and play another card from the villain deck. And evil wins when three Omnicrafts escape. And then we do have um, Magia Goons as our villains. Our henchmen bribe and we can spend recruit to fight them. KO one of your heroes. And then our villain groups are Zola's Creations and Subter uh, Subterranea. Zola's Creations will be the um, villain group for all of his cards that reference Acolytes. And then our heroes are going to be Mar uh, Daredevils, Storm and Black Panther, and Brainstorm. So basically, we're going to have to have the Storm and Black Panther card be our thing to be KO'd because they have an X-Men uh, card on them. All right. Let's hop into it here. And we've got Doughboy, Abomination. So Abomination, they get plus attack equal to the attack of the card below them. Oh, there's so many key words. Abomination, hold on one second. Maybe if I had a keyword video, I would know what this meant. Abomination. Um, the villain gets plus attack equal to the printed attack of the hero below them. Okay. So it's going to be five. All right. So we have three and three. Let's use this to get... We'll get uh, time loop experiments. So a one recruit, draw a card, then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. And then if we play a black hero, we get woman at a time, which means we'll get to play a copy of that card at the beginning of the next turn. We're going to use the rest of our stuff, uh, so our attack and the one recruit to fight a Magia Goon. That's going to let us KO a card, so we're going to get rid of that. And then we'll play another card from the villain deck. We have a Master Strike, so that's an Immortality. We have nothing to KO, so we're going to put this on top of our deck, a Wound, which will be just a plain Wound. So it's going to cost three to shatter him. Okay, so we have five recruit and one attack. Let's use that to get this. Is this what we want? Yes. Uh, tsunami of Storm and Tsunami of Justice. If we play a red hero, uh, we can KO a card from our hand of Disco Pile. If we play a blue hero, we can get plus two to fight against the Mastermind. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We know we have a wound. We have another Master Strike. We're going to gain another wound to the top of our deck. Now it's going to cost four to shatter him. This is going really well. We're going to draw a card, and then we're going to put a card from our hand on top of our deck. And actually, I'm just going to end my turn so I can get rid of the wounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Scheme twist. So uh, add an extra villain group. This twist enters the city as a two attack uh, dealy here. Each player shuffles their twist back into it and then play another card from the villain deck. Giganto. That's two attack. We need to put something on the bottom. We're going to put that on the bottom. Ugh. This dude gets plus six, so he's ten. Because until the card is played, it counts for both. So he gets a printed attack on both. So that's going to be three, four, five... And that. So we'll use two to fight this. We'll get a recruit.
We will spend the recruit and three attack to fight the Maggie Agoon. This will let us KO something. And then with the recruit we have, we're gonna get backflip. So you may play, when you play backflip, the next hero you recruit this turn goes on top of your deck. So basically gives it wall crawl. One, two, three. Four, five, six. We have another scheme twist. So that comes into play. This gets shuffled in. We have Megator. Megator captures two bystanders. We do need to put something on the bottom. We're going to put that on the bottom. Okay, I need some more of these to kind of deal with Exodus. All right, we have five recruits. Um, we'll get another one of these. We're going to end our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Moloid. Oh, dear. Okay, please let me deal with some of this stuff. Okay, we're going to be able to. We'll draw a card, then put a card from our hand on top of our deck. We have one. We can make six attack. I only need five, so we're going to put this on the bottom. We have two, three, four, and we're going to play uh, for five attack. We are going to take out this ship here for two. What's going to give us a recruit. So we have six recruit. Uh, we're going to recruit Blind Justice. It'll go on top of our deck because of this. Uh, choose a number, then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's that cost, draw it. We're going to fight the Moloid. It's going to burrow, but can't because the streets are full. So we're going to KO one of our cards. And we're going to end our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Scheme twist, that comes in. This gets shuffled in. Oh, dear. Master Strike. Okay, so we're going to have to KO a card. I'm not going to KO this. I'm just going to take the wound. We're going to put something on the bottom. I think I'm gonna put that on the bottom. This is gonna be, this is really rough. So it's gonna cost us five to shatter him. Okay, so let's think about this for a moment. We have one, okay, we're gonna play this to draw. One, two, three, four. We're gonna recruit this. So we're gonna get this for two. It's gonna go on top of our deck. It's gathering rain clouds. Uh, play a blue hero, draw a card. For one recruit, gathering clues. Black Panther, play a, a yellow hero, get one attack and draw a card. It's going to go on top of our deck. We're going to get another one of these. It'll go into our discard pile. Then we're going to play this and choose a number. I'm going to choose two, reveal a top card. If it costs that, draw it. It costs two, so we're going to draw it. Okay. We're going to play the red side here. Since we played a red here, you may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. So we're going to KO that. We have seven, eight, ten attack. And we have no recruit. We'll deal with Megator. So what we're going to do is we're going to fight Giganto. Um, he won't burrow because he's in the streets. When you draw a new hand, draw two extra cards. And then we're going to fight this Sovereign Fleet and get a recruit that we can't use. But we're going to end our turn there. So we're going to get our two extra cards, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We have a Master Strike. We're going to KO something. I don't want to KO that, so we're going to take the Wound. Oh, dear. Okay. We have one, two, three, six, and four Recruit. We're going to fight Megator. We're going to rescue the Bystanders, and he's going to burrow back here. We're going to get, get a um, Sidekick. So we have Rock Slide, and then we're going to get a Banker which is going to give us two for under the bank. And we'll use that, uh, the two from that and the four from this to get reprogrammed Doom Legion, Doombot Legions. Three attack, you play a Fantastic Four here. You may look at the top two cards of the deck. If you do KO one, put the other one back. Okay. 
So that some of that looking at the top card, KO1 and put the other one back should combo with some of the Daredevil stuff. So we're gonna try to work that out if we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We have a Maggie Agoon. All right. So we've got four recruit here. We're going to use that recruit to get radar sense. It's going to go on top of our deck. Choose a number, then reveal top card of your deck. If you get that uh, cost, get plus two attack. So it's going to go there. We're then going to choose a number, and I'm going to choose four. So we're going to get that card. We're going to draw it. We're going to play this. I'm going to guess two. It's zero. We've got that for three, and we have a wound. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attack. Um, we'll fight the Maggie Agoon, and we'll KO something, and we'll end our turn. i got to figure out how we're going to fight Exodus. We have a Scheme Twist. It's going to be a fleet thing. Megator. Okay, 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 okay. So we have one, two. We're gonna play the recruit side. We're gonna play the recruit side, draw a card. This doesn't really matter. Um, we have two against the mastermind, but that doesn't super duper matter because for even, even to shatter him once, it's going to cost, I don't even have enough recruit to shatter him because it's going to cost six. So we're going to need to get stuff that requires recruit or get a gang of attack, which is not really going to happen. We're going to fight this and get a recruit, so it's going to give us five recruit. Mm, let's get borrow from the future. One attack, reveal top card to death, cost two or more, draw it, otherwise discard it or put it back. And if we play a blue here, we get woman at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have gotten rid of a third of our gray cards. Okay, we have a manfish, abomination, so he's gonna get plus four. So he's nine. There we go. Okay, you can shatter a villain. We're gonna probably shatter him to six. We have enough attack for that. I don't think we do. Let's do time loop. We'll draw a card, then put a card from our hand on top of our deck. Um, we'll put this on top of our deck. We're going to shatter him. He's going to go uh, to five and, from five and a half to six. He's going to be 11 to five and a half, which is rounds up. This goes to the bottom. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six attack. We're going to fight him to take him out. We get to KO one of our heroes, so that's gone. We're going to end our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's not a lot of recruit stuff. Another sovereign fleet here. Oh dear. Oh dear, he escapes. We have to KO something. We're gonna get rid of this. Bystander, okay. Whew. This is stressing me out. I don't know how we're supposed to even set up against something like this. Okay, we're gonna real top card of the deck. If it costs you two or more, draw it. It does, we're gonna draw it. We've got backflip, we've got all this. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold on. We may be able to do something here. We're gonna play this, then we're gonna play this side. We can KO a card from our hand or discard pile, so that gets KO'd. We're gonna take out all three of these, which is gonna give us um, three recruit. Oh, choose a number and uh, reveal top card of your deck. I'm gonna choose two, I don't get it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do man without fear for eight. 
Uh, choose a number, then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's that cost, draw it otherwise and repeat this process. So we're going to get that on top of our deck there. And that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ambush, any villain in the streets moves to the bridge. Um, pushing any villains already there to escape. So this escapes, we have to KO something. We're gonna get rid of this. And then we have to discard a card because bystanders uh, were uh, gone, so we're gonna get rid of that. Okay, I can't make any sort of moves on this dude, like at all. So we're gonna play this, we're gonna choose two. So we don't get that. We're going to play this. We're going to choose a number and reveal the card of the decks. So we're going to choose six. We get to draw it. We're going to choose two. We get to draw it. All right, what's this look like here? Five, two, three, three, zero. There's a lot of zeros. We're gonna choose two again, so we don't get it, unfortunately. Okay. We're gonna play this side and draw a card. Okay, so we have two recruit. We're gonna get another one of these. Then we have one, two, three, four. 14. We have 14 attack. We're going to take him out for five. If you fought him in the sewers or bridge, then each other player gains a wound. We're going to fight this for two. Fight this for four. Um, so five and two make seven. This makes it 11. It goes to the streets. We don't have enough to fight him. Because we only had 14. Okay. Now we require 15. One, two, three, four, five, six. Manfish, oh golly. Okay, can we do something against Exodus? I think the answer is gonna be no. There's four. We're gonna back get backflip. And with the backflip, we're gonna play this. We're gonna look at uh, we're gonna choose three. We're gonna draw it. We're gonna play this out. We're gonna backflip and get this on top of our deck again. Then we're gonna play this, look at the top card of our deck, and it costs uh, two or more, so we have to draw it. We're going to play this and spend two to get this. This goes on top of our deck. We have five attack. We're going to fight this guy. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm hoping with all the recruit, it's enough to like knock this guy down. Because basically, if I can get enough of recruit to knock him down to nine, we should be able to do with Daredevil's rare to end up like doing some stuff. So, oh, scheme twist. Oh, dear. I don't see how this this is. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Okay, Doughboy. Ugh. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. We're gonna look at the top card of our deck, and we are going to put a card from our hand on top of our deck. So I'm going to put this on top of our deck. We're going to play this. I'm going to choose five. So we're going to draw it. I'm going to choose three. Oh, we're not going to get it. Okay. All right. So we're going to play that side to draw a card. Mm. We're going to draw a card. We're going to draw a card. We're going to draw a card. We're going to play this. Look at the top card of our deck. I'm going to guess three. So it's zero, so we don't get the attack bump. We're going to play this side and this side. So we're going to KO a card from our hand or discard pile. We have a recruit. So we have two recruit. We'll get time loop for two. 
And we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 attack. So we'll clear this for 8. We'll decay a card. We'll clear this for 5. And I think that's it. Or do we want to leave this and take out these two and get the two recruit and get to use the two recruit in our time loop? Okay. All right. I think, okay, I think we might be able to do something. Because with all these recruit cards, as long as I can make myself draw for them, then it'll be enough to shatter and get enough cards to do something. I, I'm I'm just at the point now where I hope to get one tactic. I would just like one tactic. Can we work that out somehow? <sighs> okay. All right. So we've got those. Unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to do a whole lot. We do have five attack. We can take out two of these, getting us two more recruit. And we're going to use that recruit to get this for six. It's going to go on top of our deck because of backflip. One, two, three, four, five, six. This escapes, each player gains a wound. Um, he goes up to 10. We have to KO something, we're gonna get rid of that. Okay. Golly, can we do something here? We've got three from this. Let's recruit this, it'll go on top of our deck. We're gonna choose a number, I'm gonna choose two, we're gonna get to draw it. We're going to play this. I'm going to look at the top card of our deck. It costs two or more, so we'll get to draw it. We're going to play this out get this card. It'll go on top of our deck. We're going to play this. We're going to guess two. We're going to get to draw it. We're going to play this side. Oh, I've used a bunch of recruit this turn, haven't I? I sure have. We are going to use this side, though, to draw a card. I've got two recruit left at the moment. We're going to draw a card, then put a card from our hand on top of our deck. We'll put that on top. We're going to play the blue side again, draw a card. Play this side again, draw a card. Play this, draw a card, and put a card from our hand on top of our deck. I guess we'll do that. Play this, put a card, draw a card, then put a card from our hand on top of our deck. So we have nine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We spent four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, recruit. It costs us six to shatter him to 18, and we only have nine. So with the recruit, we're going to get Protege of Dr. Doom. This is going to be, you can use one of Doom's uh, mastermind tactics. You can't use uh, any more than, uh, you can't use any of them more than once per game. Um, if you already have used them all, then you get plus four attack instead. Uh, take another turn or draw three cards at the end of your turn or recruit a black or blue hero for free or all of the players draw a card or discard a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I can't get this because I don't have enough. But we're going to take this out for two. Then I can get this and then we're going to have enough because I uh, that gave me a recruit. Okay. And then we still have, I get the woman out of time for these. We still have seven attack left. We're going to take these two out. Well, hold on, wait a minute. He drops down to eight. Never mind. We're going to take these two. Which get us two more recruit. Which isn't enough to really do anything. So we're going to end our turn. Those go. We get these uh, set aside. One, two, three, four, five, six. Scheme to it. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
We get to draw a card and put a card on top of our deck. And then we get to do it again. These get discarded. I don't know if the woman in time, I don't think the woman in time uh, triggers off the other one. But we do get the two recruit and it counts as playing a black hero. So we are going to be able to use this one again. We're going to play this. I'm going to uh, reveal top card of my deck. I'm going to guess zero. It's zero. So I get two attack for that. We're going to play this side to draw a card. We're going to play this. We get to draw a card then put a card from our hand on top of our deck. We're going to put this back here. There's more recruit there. We're going to play this. I'm going to guess five. We're going to draw. I'm going to guess two. Darn it. That's okay. Can I make... That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve attack. Mmm. Can't do anything. Okay. It's just I need so much time to set up. We're going to play that side. We just can't brute force our way through this. I'm going to KO a card from my hand. We're going to draw a card here to get ourselves a recruit. We have two, uh, four, five, six, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, hold on. 19. We have one, two, three hero classes. So that would give us three recruit, which still wouldn't really be enough to do anything. So we're going to fight this. We're going to fight this for six, putting us down to um, 13. We're going to get three recruit because it's, it's, you get plus one recruit for each hero class. We have red, black, and uh, yellow. We're going to then spend... Um, Eight of our 13 to take out this. We're going to get that effect again. We're going to fight this, get that effect again to put us at seven. We don't have enough attack to really do anything because we have two, three, four, 11. I mean, we could shatter him once. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah, to 18, but we don't have enough attack. So we have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11, recruit. Let's use it to get um, reprogrammed Doom Bots. And we'll get another one of these. All right, we're just going to have to figure out how to get 36 attack. I think that's the only, <laughs> the only reasonable thing we can do. Master Strike. So um, we have to KO, and I don't even have one to KO, so we're going to gain a win on top of our deck. Three. We're going to fight Primus. Uh, to fight him, you must discard a card that costs uh, two, three, five, or seven. We're going to discard that. He's gone. And we're going to end our turn. We know we have the wound. At this point, there's I don't think there's a way to win this game. Maybe against regular Exodus, but the adding all that to Shatter is so hard. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one of these is a wound. That's going to come in. Yeah, I mean, everything in here is probably a scheme twist anyway. We're going to put something on the bottom. Okay, we've got to figure out how to finagle this here in order to do some, some maximum effort here. Okay, so first things first, we're going to play this. We're going to guess four, so we don't get to draw it. That is okay. Oh, I didn't get my woman out of time for the other card, but that's fine. We're going to play this. I'm going to guess uh, two. I'm going to guess two. I'm going to guess two. Okay, that's fine. We are then going to play this to draw a card. We're going to play uh, Doom's Protégé. We're going to use the effect to take another turn. To take another, When we do that, we don't draw a card from the villain deck. We're going to play this to draw a card, then put a card back on top of our deck.
We'll put this back on top of our deck. We're gonna do that again, do that again. It's gonna count, it's gonna count for this every single time. But we do get the woman out of time for all those, which is the part that I care about. We have five recruit here. So we have two, seven, eight, twelve, which is not enough to do anything. We have 12 attack. Okay. Because he requires 7 to shatter. That would be to 18. We're going to take out these to get ourselves 4 recruit. That puts us at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Nine. We're going to get reprogram. No, we're going to get uh, blind justice and put that on top of our deck because of backflip. We do have three more. So we'll, let's get uh, borrow from the future for the other three. We're going to end our turn. Now we've activated that effect for her. So we are not going to uh, draw a card from the villain deck. One, two, three, four, five, six. The three of these will let us do their effects. So draw a card and put a card back on top of our deck. So we're gonna draw a card and put something back on top of our deck. I'm just gonna choose that. I'm gonna do that every single time. But we do get the three recruit, which is the important part. We might be able to at least take a tactic off of him this round. We're gonna play this. I'm gonna choose five. We get to draw it. We're gonna play this. I'm gonna KO a card from my hand or discard pile. So that's gone. Um, we're going to play this. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose four. Darn it. Okay. That's fine. So it's three, four, five, six. We're going to play that side for storm. We're then going to play this to rec uh, the recruit to draw a card. We're going to do it again. Draw a card. <sighs> Come on. We have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, uh, 12, 16, and six recruit. Come on, man. <sighs> We're going to get this. We're just going to end our turn. Golly. I thought we were going to do something there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Giganto. Okay. Mm, we'll play this. We'll reveal the top card of our deck. Okay. We're going to play this. We're going to look at the top two cards of our deck. We're going to KO one and put the other one back. We'll play this. We'll draw the top card of our deck and then we'll put something back. Is there a way I can get rid of it? Not really. We'll put this back. We'll get woman at a time. We have four, five recruit. Whatever we get is going to go on top of our deck. We'll do borrow from the future. We're going to end our go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Whew. we're gonna get the effect here. So we're gonna draw a card, then put something back. Let's put back this. Okay, maybe we can do something now, maybe. So there's one recruit there. We're gonna play this, we're gonna guess five, so we're gonna get to draw that card. We're gonna play this side to KO a card from our hand or discard pile. So we're gonna get rid of that. Do I have another one of those? I don't. We've got that for the recruit. 
We're going to play this. We're going to reveal the top two cards of our deck. We're going to draw... Um, if, or we're going to reveal the top card of our deck. If it costs two or more, we're going to draw it. Otherwise, we can discard it or put it back. Can I at least take a tactic off? That's all I'm asking for is one tactic. Okay, we get this. Nice. Okay. We're going to play this. We're going to look at the top two cards of our deck. If you do, KO one and put the other one back. So we're going to KO one and put the other one back. We're going to play this, and I'm going to guess three. I'm going to guess five. Shit. Shoot. We know this is not going to work. We did play yellow. So hold on. Let's see how many attacks we have. We have four, five, six, seven... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if I can shatter him one time, we can at least take a tactic. We're going to draw a card. We're going to draw a card. We're going to play this. We'll reveal the top card. We can draw it. Okay, nice. We're going to play this. This time we can draw three extra cards in a turn, recruit a black or blue hero for free, or all the players draw a card or discard a card. We're going to uh, recruit a black hero for free, which is going to be king and queen of Wakanda. Five attack, reveal any number of multi-class heroes from your hand, gain that many sidekicks. We didn't recruit it, so we don't get it on top of our deck, because it just says gain. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to play that for three. You may KO a card from your hand to your discard pile. We don't have anything to KO. We're going to take out this Sovereign. It's going to get us a recruit. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to shatter him to 18. We spent two of our attack on that, so we'll get rid of those. So attack-wise, we have 8, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We can fight him once, leaving us six attack left. Each other player reveals their hand, discards all cards that cost one or more, then draws that many cards. We don't have any. So he's gone. Oh my goodness. And then we have six attack left. We'll fight the Moloid. It can't burrow. We'll KO that. We're going to end our turn. I get woman at a time for this one. I don't think the other one, I, I, I don't get the other one happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I didn't shuffle. Hold on. I got to shuffle back in. Okay. That escapes. We have to discard a card that costs two, three, five, or seven. Two, three, five, or seven. We'll get rid of this one. And we have to KO something. Okay, that escapes. We have to KO something else. At this point, it doesn't even matter because we're dead. We get to reveal the top card of our deck. It costs two more. We'll draw it. Okay. We're going to play this. We're going to reveal the top card of our deck. Um, I'm going to put it back. We're going to guess... Uh, oh, shoot. It was two. We're going to guess two. Draw it. We're going to... Do you got backflip here? Oh. I guess we're going to play this. Reveal the top card of our deck. It costs two or more, so we'll draw it. We played a red hero. What do we want to KO? We'll KO this. We're going to play this. We played a blue hero. We'll draw a card. We're going to look at the top two cards of our deck. If we do, we can KO one and put the other one back. We're going to KO one and put the other one back. We're going to play this and guess two. We get to draw it. We're going to play that, draw a card. We're going to play that, draw a card, put it back. That's fine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six recruit, and we have four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen attack. We're going to fight all these for four. Then we're going to fight him with the four recruit, I guess. And then we had, and then I'll KO this. And we're going to end our turn. We do get the woman at a time. 
I don't know if we get the woman out of time for that one because it got KO'd. I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't. One, two, three, four, five. I think we do get it still. Six. Oh, we're done, though. There's no way. Oh, shoot. One of those is out here. There's no way. Pfft. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, there was a villain left. Well, that, I don't know. I don't know what we would have done here. There's like, no, I don't think there's anything. Like, this was brutal. Absolutely brutal. We would have demolished him on regular. Because it would just been shatter, pay three to sh shatter, uh, pay, you may you may pay three recruit any number of times to shatter Exodus. We would have absolutely destroyed him on regular. Uh, well, that's going to be it. At least I got a tactic off. I'll take that. So anyway, uh, I think the team composition would have worked a little bit. Um, but yeah, that was rough. I think one of the ways to kind of mitigate that would be to use Happy Hogan or something else. I think there may be another hero that can KO Master Strikes from the villain deck. Because then it specifically says um, the Master Strike, stack the strike to, at, next to Exodus as an immortality. So because it's not like KO'd, it's, it, it's, it has the, the strike has to become an immortality. You could remove him and then make it to where he's cheaper to shatter. That would be the only thing I can think of. To like fight him consistent and consistently beat him. Or figure out how to like or play somebody, play characters like Domino and Agent Venom and like stuff that give you attack and recruit and use the recruit like not be stuck up. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on how to beat that particular side. And then probably a scheme that's got a lot more in the villain deck because this right here was too much. Too much. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.